Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the AAS YouTube channel. And this is the pragmatic stuff. This is on using the UAT concepts when you submit your manuscript. Apparently, there's a little bit of confusion uh, on how to do that. And so to help walk through this process, I have AAS Journals Manager Janice Sexton with us today. Hi, Janice. Hi, Frank. How are you doing? And I'm doing well on this June 14th. Uh, we are going to hit about 43, 44 C, so about 117 Phoenix, uh, Fahrenheit in Phoenix today. Uh, good and toasty. Good and toasty. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Where are you at? In... I'm near uh, San Antonio, Texas, and it's like 96 with about 46% humidity, so it probably feels about the same temperature as yours. <laughs> a little heavier, a little heavier with that humidity going, but yeah, very good. Yes. So, uh, we have, have some humidity. Yeah, no. Uh, well, we do. Uh, summer is the humid time in Phoenix, and you know, because you live many years in Tucson. Yeah. Uh, so the, the summer is when we get our humid and uh, our haboobs and our lightning storms. In fact, we may have one tomorrow, lightning storms. So it'll be interesting. Oh. Ah, cool. So I understand some authors are having some difficulties or misunderstandings, I should say, on using the UAT concepts when they submit their manuscript, APJ, AJ, APJ letters, BSJ, etc. Yes. So let's go ahead and walk through what you're supposed to do. Okay, so um, sometimes you have used the old subject headings and you don't know what subject headings uh, correspond or what U UAT concept corresponds with the subject heading that you've used in the past. You can uh, click on uh, the official crosswalk table. And when you do that, it opens in a different window and it shows you, for instance, um, if you've used Galax, Galaxy, Galaxy Bulge, here is the word in um, the UAT concepts. Mm -hmm. So um, any word, you, you just start looking through the list and it kind of shows you it's all divided up by um, the subject matter over on the <clears throat> left hand side and then the concept that we use is on the right hand side, the last column. Okay. So that, that's sort of helpful. You can look at that before you actually choose your words and, or the concepts. And once you have chosen the concept, let's say the first one I want to use is, oh, I have gamma ray. I start typing gamma ray. And I want to use gamma ray astronomy, whoops. Sorry. I don't see anything in the box there. There we go. Oh, I didn't have it in the box. Sorry. <laughs> Gamma ray astronomy. Okay. And as I start typing that, the exact word, if I just say gamma ray, Lots of choices. Um, you can see all the other choices you have for gamma ray. I want to use gamma ray astronomy. So I click on it. Okay. A new box appears on top, and um, that's the one that I've saved so far. And if I want to remove it saying, oh, look, I think I'll use a different one instead of that, you can just click on the red arrow or cross, and it will remove it, and you can search for a different one. OK. So you can choose up to 12 of these. So let's say I want to use. Uh, gamma ray telescopes. Oh, all I have to do is go down here and see it, click on it, and it moves up to the box that's going to save. So that's the box that's saved. Um, let's say I want to go into, I want to use burst astrophysics. So I go into the box, and as soon as I type burst, there it is, first one astrophysics. So I click on it and it moves it up to the next box. Okay. Um, let's say I want to use high energy astrophysics. There we go. There it is. And I just can either click return or click on the astro high energy astrophysics. So you can do it two ways. Ah, okay. 
So, which is kind of helpful, but I think if you just click on the, the, the word or the concept, it, you don't have to take your hand off. <laughs> right, it's probably easy just to click on, on the right one. Okay, so, so let's say I want to use soft uh, gamma ray repeaters. All I did was type in soft and then start to type in gamma and the words come up automatically. Real life, dogs barking, all good. Yes, yeah, sorry about the sh Sheltie. Um, then I just click on it and it shows up in the box above. Okay. So when I'm, I'm done, um, all I have to do is go on to next to continue my submission process. And that will take me to the next review files. Okay. Um, so that's how you, that's how simple it is to um, add your, <laughs> add the um, concepts. And I always like to look at the official crosswalk table first. Um, you can also look at um, the Unified Astronomy Thesaurus page and you can check to see all the, all the things that they have to offer us. Um, you can explore by getting an alphabetical browse. So if you go to um, the al alphabetical browse, you can go to the different, uh, like A, B, C, D, F, G. Um, so if you wanted to do something in planetary science, you can go down to the P's and then it would just open up. It's a longer way of doing it, but I, I suggest that you go and, and play with these different, um, different ways of, searching for what we have on the UAT thesaurus. And um, it always opens in a new page, so you can always go back to where you were working on your manuscript submission page. So that's a nice feature, so that you're always in a different uh, browser or browser window, not on the same. It doesn't close your other one down. So let me ask, what, what was the confusion on, what is the confusion on adding UAT concepts at submission? Some people would go and put in soft gamma ray repeaters. And then they wouldn't know what to do next. They would just say, okay, I've chosen my thing. It would not go up to this box. So when they went down to review the files, it wasn't there. It wasn't saved. So um, you have to click return or click on the suggested word. What happens if you make a what happens if you make a typo? Just put in A B C D. Enter A B C D in the box. Okay. And now hit return. I can't find it. So it, so it doesn't add it. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. No. I could put in Frank. Oh, well, that's a terrible choice. <laughs> it wouldn't find Frank either. <laughs> so you do have to type in a word that is basically like uh, cosmology. You could type in, and it comes up with a number of words, uh, so, concepts. Right. So you have to remember to hit return or click one of the choices. You yeah. Don't, you just type it in and then go to the next page. Right, exactly. So if I hit cosmology, I, it brings a full list of other things that I can click on. And I want to say I want to use this large structure of the universe. Mm -hmm. I would click on it over on this side and it would add it. Um, oh, it doesn't add it until I hit the return there. Oh, it didn't add it, did it? No. Oh, that's the, no, that's not, I think, I'm sure, unless I had typed in something. There you wrong. go, I just clicked, oh. clicked the link. Yeah. Large, there, large scale, uh -huh. and then added it. Okay, so you just want to make sure. Yeah, I even messed first. up. <laughs> that's okay, that uh, you want to make sure you see your concepts in the added concept box. If it's not there, you haven't completed the task yet. Yes, that's right. So if I want to add voids, like right here, let's say I want to add voids, there it is. And then I hit the return. Return or click. And make sure you see an added concepts before you hit the next box. In the box, yeah. So let's say I want to add cosmic ray web this time. 
I would just say cosmic web and it appears in the small box over here. And then I click return. No, it, you have oh, to put your cursor in the box. There you sorry, go. I didn't. <laughs> Again, I didn't do it. Oh, oh. yeah, there it is. It's added. Okay. Yeah. Again, if you don't see it in the added concepts, it isn't added. <laughs> yeah, here's the box. And you have to have, you can have up to 12. So I don't, this doesn't pertain to this paper. This doesn't pertain to this paper. This doesn't pertain to this paper. But not, I do want to add galaxy cl cluster counts and watch. This is, yes, this is what I want to use. Cursor in the box. There and you go. I put, I put my cursor in the box and then click this. Right. Very good. And I wanted to do galaxy physics too, just I say okay. yes, galaxies physics. I put <clears throat> my cursor in the box and I think I'll use this one instead. Uh -huh. It goes into the box up here. Super easy. Yeah, super easy. Super easy. Just make sure it's in the added concepts before you carry on. Yes, in the box below. And it, yes, make sure that it moves up to this and just by clicking on it down here. Mm -hmm. This will make your life easier when you submit. It will make uh, the managing staff's life easier. <laughs> People won't be coming back with questions. I did it not very good. Yeah, and uh, yes, both the majority, ninety nine point percent of the the authors do do it correctly because we never hear from them. So right. I just want to thank thank you all for trying it and using it. It's been great. Yep, it's been a fairly smooth uh, transition and a well needed transition. Yes, we, and with that, <laughs> we will say bark, bark, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.